Back for another week in the Maureen Spellman Coach's Corner. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, uh, coming off a week with uh, a couple of tough losses against nationally ranked teams on the road against Bentley and Stonehill, uh, let's start off with uh, the game against Bentley. Uh, just give us your thoughts on the team's performance in that game. Um, so Bentley obviously was a tough one. Um, we had the lead at half, um, kind of just kind of lost it right at the end there. Um, we had a really tough game against St. Anselm's, and what we kind of decided as a team was it's it's now or never. You're we got to step up now or we start focusing on next year. And obviously the team wants to focus on the rest of the year. Um, so we kind of got ourselves together and came up with a good plan for Bentley, a good plan for Stonehill. And, you know, the girls did exactly what they were supposed to do. They, we had great defense. We played great on attack. Um, what it really boiled down to in that Bentley game and for Stonehill is the 50-50 balls. Um, just things that it's, it's back to basics. And it's how bad do you want the ball. And it, this has never been a group that um, puts in any kind of lackluster effort. They always play with a lot of heart, um, and it was never, it's never about that. And so at, in that sense, I couldn't ask for much more. Uh, a couple of days later, pretty quick turnaround up to Stonehill. And again, uh, you know, similar situation. You're either leading or tied for most of the game. Mm -hmm. They get a couple of late goals and, and come away with the win. Yep. Uh, just assess the play in that one. I'd, like I said, it was those two games were so similar, and um, we had an exact plan for what we were going to do against Stonehill's defense. They play a tight backer zone. Um, they're good at it, and you know our attack. They showed up. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. Um, lost a few draw controls that were key at the end. Um, missed a couple of really important 50-50 balls, and that was the game right there. I know we've talked about this, you know, off camera a few times. I mean, listen, it's evident the progress is there, and, and you can see that. Anybody, you know, watching this team can can see that uh, with the naked eye. With that said, having the lead at halftime in both of those games last week, having mm -hmm. the lead in the second half, um, is it more disappointment because you weren't able to hang on to the lead? Uh, you know, are you do you have some? Um, you know, sense of achievement or, or, or uh, you know, happiness because the fact that you've been hanging around in these games or, or you know, what's your take on it, you know, based well, on where I the mean, team was in the final results? I'm a coach, yeah. so I'm never going to settle. And yeah. uh, games that we have in our hands that we should, we could have won should be wins. And that's, that's just kind of how my philosophy is. It's not a game like Adelphi where we're down a certain amount of goals right at the beginning. Um, so these these past two couple games, they're they're tough. They're tough on me. They're tough on my assistant, and they're they're really tough on the girls because they have it. They had it in their hands, um, and I'm not I'm not in any kind of um, I'm not satisfied with kind of how we are right now because on paper we're the same team as last year, and we're not. We're not the same team. It's a it's a different group. We've got a lot more talent. Um, we just need to kind of show it on paper now. It's time. So a couple games on the road this week. Uh, it seems like this never-ending road swing uh, yeah. continues with that one Bentley game there in the mix at yeah. home. Uh, but you'll start off with Pace. Uh, second year as a program, mm -hmm. but obviously they showed last year they can yeah. play. Uh, what do you expect yeah. out of the setters? Um, Pace, uh, they're doing very well. Um, I think they're well coached. Uh, they've got a very deep bench. They're very athletic. Um, so some of the things that we have to do are just change a few things up on defense and kind of practice more. Um, kind of what they do as compared to kind of focusing on ourselves. So we got to focus on that. And then Franklin Pierce following, same kind of thing. They've got a brand new coach. They're doing very well. Um, they've got a t couple really good scorers that we're going to just try to shut down, and that's going to be our game plan. All right, well, good luck this week. Thank you, Mike. Keep, keep your head up. Things are going in the right direction, mm -hmm. and uh, we know we'll see some more W's before the year is out. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. All right, well, thanks again for joining us. Thank Have you. Have a great week, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next week.